On today's episode of Insights from the Farm, you'll learn about farmers in Illinois and Arkansas that saw a five bushel per acre advantage using Proven 40 to replace a portion of their nitrogen program, and 14 farmers out in Colorado who saw a two ton advantage in their silage from using Proven 40. Welcome to the second episode of Insights from the Farm, where we're talking to you about real world stories where farmers just like you have replaced a portion of their nitrogen program with Proven 40 and seen the same or better yields. I'm joined as always by my friend and colleague, Dr. Ryan Van Ruckel, the commercial agronomy lead here at Pivot, to lead us through these discussions. Ryan, really excited about some of the examples that we have here today, and I think we're going to start out out west looking at some amazing data, pictures, and video that we saw from 14 farmers out in Colorado who just got done chopping silage. Yeah, that's right, Rick. Uh, Great to be here, thanks again. As we get closer and closer to harvest every day, the first results we get our hands on are from the silage choppers. And Tom Hewson is our TSM, our territory sales manager out in Colorado. And he's done a pile of work and gotten together a lot of results to share with us today. Uh, Those pictures that we showed last week, you know, we see bigger, greener plants where they're taking up that spoon fed nitrogen every day right there on the roots. That continued all the way to harvest out here in Colorado. And Tom was able to go out and take some hand checks uh, where he harvests a bunch of the corn himself by hand, pulls up a big bundle and weighs it. And you can see some of the pictures from that. Uh, And then where he can, we'll verify that with the chopper. Now, if anybody's been around silage, you know, sometimes They get in a little bit of a hurry and it can be hard to get those weights and that data. And so that's where Tom took it upon himself to do a lot of these hand checks. And altogether, Tom was able to find 14 different comparisons where he's got proven 40 compared to the untreated. And on average, he came up with a 2.3 ton advantage to use in proven 40, which is a ton of silage and worth quite a lot of money. That was a pun intended situation there, wasn't it? (laughs) That's right. Uh, that's that's crazy, man. I mean, you think about it. We we looked at the results last week, and, and we've seen across trials for the past three years the increase in biomass, and it, it just lines up for the silage market. And to see these types of results, I mean, a two ton plus advantage, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's right. That's right. We've seen this multiple years, you know, uh, and we expect more results coming in. In the past, we've had great results out of Wisconsin and, and New York and any of the dairy belt uh, really having tremendous luck here where where that proven 40 microbes is, is making a big difference for our silage growers. Those are amazing results, Ryan. I mean, two tons is is really impressive in terms of the difference that they're seeing by using proven 40. And I got to tell you, you know, they uh, Tom did a great job sharing a lot of images, the video. There's nothing I love seeing more than some of the drone images that we see come off farm at harvest time. It's so awesome how many farmers are capturing that imagery, capturing those videos, and, and they get to see that happening. Um, you know, some of my other favorite imagery is is really around yield maps and, and the, the detail that we can see there, what we can learn. And, and as we move past our first example with silage, let's travel down south to Arkansas to Razorback country. Uh, we've got a great example here of a farmer that saw a benefit using Proven 40 with a nitrogen replacement, uh, comparing two side by side fields. And it, it, it's really placed itself out uh, easily to see in this yield map here. Yeah, you're exactly right. I love seeing these yield maps come in. And here we're showing an example from our agronomist, Jeff Hollowell. This is a field, a couple fields down by Gregory, Arkansas. And the field to the north is one of those center pivot irrigated fields. And of course, you know, it gets always a little little tricky on the outsides and the corners and things like that. So Jeff took the time to carve out the yield map and, and really just dig into the center of that pivot uh, where we got some good consistent data. And they're showing a 263 bushel yield on average. Now, right next door, just to the south is a whole nother center, center irrigated field. Same hybrid, just untreated, but then also 30 pounds more nitrogen down there. And the average there, once you cut out that middle spot, was kind of rough. So we just compared apples to apples in the good spots. Uh, and that's only coming in at 245 bushel though. So what, what we're showing is not only can you replace some of that nitrogen and get the same yield, but in some cases you can get more yield here. On average, a, a 17 bushel advantage is what they're showing. Uh, that really improves your nitrogen use efficiency too. So, uh, you know, that NUE is is the traditional farmer sense. It's the pounds of nitrogen applied to bushels per acre that you get out of there. And so we go from a normal, you know, 0.92 in the untreated 
uh, to a 0 0.73, 0.74 uh, with that proven 40 treated. And, that, and that's a huge improvement in your nitrogen use efficiency, uh, big return on the ROI there too, where you're saving money on nitrogen fertilizer and, get, and getting better yield doing it. That's that's really interesting. And it kind of speaks to the benefit of using multiple modes of action as a part of your nitrogen fertility program, right? You know, we're, we're seeing this benefit of, you know, using your conventional nitrogen program that the farmers have been using for decades and decades, but also supplementing that and replacing a portion of that with a new mode of action in Proven 40 that's really spoon feeding that crop all through early season and mid season and, and getting that nitrogen to the plant exactly when it needs it. Yeah, that's right. It's all about the four R's of fertilizer management, which we know, um, but right place, right time. Those are all things that the Proven 40 microbes can do right there on the roots. Well, if we move on to our, our next example here, Ryan, we're, we're heading to my home states, uh, near and dear to my heart, up here in McHenry County, Illinois. And, and this farmer in particular that we're looking at this image for really, really got after a test here to understand the impact of not just putting Proven 40 on top of his current nitrogen program, but also taking a reduction and seeing what Proven 40 did there versus a reduction check. I mean, it's really interesting to, to see this visual and how detailed this farmer got and really, really analyzing the performance. That's right. So what you're looking at there, Rick, is a, a partnership between our commercial agronomy team and, and our farmers where we've got an on-farm demonstration trial where we can get some really detailed data and, and get some wonderful insights from this. So this is a picture submitted by our agronomist, Alan Parrish. And, and the really true comparison that we've been talking about is that upper left, that's the GSP, that's the grower standard practice, uh, untreated. And then uh, lower right, that's the replacement nitrogen rate with Proven 40. So that's like a 40 pound replacement use Proven 40. And when you look at those ears at that diagonal, upper left to lower right, the ears look really comparable. And that's what we're talking about. Replace your nitrogen, get the same yield. Now you could argue, well, maybe that field didn't need any more nitrogen. And that's where you look in the lower left. When you took out 40 pounds in the untreated, you do see a yield hit there and you compare bottom row to bottom row, you see Proven 40 is making up that difference. Now, the interesting thing in 2024 is we just had so much rain early on that there was quite a bit of leaching and some nitrogen loss. And so we're seeing several examples this year where when you put Proven 40 on top of the grower standard practice, you're getting an additional yield bump there. And you can see that by comparing the top row. Really speaks to the unpredictability of how weather is going to impact your nitrogen program, right? You know, we, we talk a lot with farmers about replacing a portion of their nitrogen program with Proven 40 and the benefits that can come with that. And then in years like this, where you had significant amount of loss in the early season and the crop really needed that additional nitrogen, it paid off to have more, uh, more N in your program. Yeah, that's right. This year it sure did. And, and we've got some yield results starting to trickle in. So one of our sales reps there in Illinois, Rob Elliott, he's turned in three different checks for us. And in each case, it's five or six bushel advantage for proven 40 at a reduced nitrogen rate. So at minus 40 pounds, uh, still coming in with a slight yield advantage there. And so on average, we're talking about taking an already good NUE at 0.75 pounds of nitrogen applied per bushel. But when you can replace a little bit of that, and use proven 40 to get the same or better yields, the NUE is going to a 0.56 there. So a real tremendous improvement in how efficient we're being with the nitrogen, demonstrating that you kind of can have your cake and eat it too. So you think about the ROI on that, Ryan, right? We're, we're talking about a nitrogen replacement, which allows you to reduce your cost on your fertility program. And then on the back end of that, in a year like this, you're seeing a yield advantage from uh, from leveraging the proven 40 as well. It's, it's a win-win situation. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's really exciting, Ryan, to, to see the yield results are following some of the early season and late season indicators that we saw in some of the pictures that uh, that the agronomy team and the farmers had shared in. Oh, for sure. It, it, I love it when a plan comes together, you know, and we, we see the bigger plants, we see the bigger ears, and now we got yield data trickling in to back it up. So really appreciate Rob and, and, and our agronomists and our other sale, territory sales managers for turning in these yield results and Really looking forward to see more and more of them trickle in uh, as we can start getting through harvest. Yeah, Ryan, I'm really excited to see harvest results continue to fly in. I know as we hear from our team, they're hearing more farmers report in. They're sharing more stories with us. I'm really excited to be able to share more of these success stories and show folks out there how farmers in the real world are utilizing Proven 40 to replace a portion of their nitrogen program and seeing great yield results. 
That's going to be the end of this week's episode. We're excited to see you again next week with more real world stories. But if you'd like to check out our first episode, if you haven't seen that, or if you'd like to follow along with local performance, you can visit our performance landing page at www.pivotsprovenit.com. On that page, you can see our previous podcast, success stories from farmers in your area, and you can also follow along on a state-by-state basis to see 2024 harvest results from Pivot Bio and how we're performing in real-world scenarios with farmers just like you in your area. We'll be back next week with more great stories, but until then, stay safe out there, and we'll be back with more insights from around the farm.